We've never done anything real dangerous. Driving on backcountry roads a little fast, maybe. A lot of the things with teenagers is they start to think they are invincible. They don't think about themselves dying in car crashes. She'd just been involved in a horrible collision. And the very teen you're stopping now may be the same teen that would have gotten an accident a block away. New teen drivers are under a lot of pressure to learn the responsibilities of driving motor vehicles. To give teens time to learn these responsibilities, Washington and more than 30 other states have passed restrictive licensing laws for new drivers. If they can go that six months with nobody in the car except maybe parents or their brother or sister, the reward is they're not going to get any collisions because they're going to be paying attention to their driving. You put training wheels on your bicycle before you're able to ride it. Um, I think that's a great analogy. A graduated driver's license system gives the team uh, time and experience to learn the good driving habits with an experienced driver. At the time before the law was passed, teens encompassed about 7% of the licensed drivers in the state, but they accounted for about 15% of all the drivers involved in fatal crashes. In Washington state, fatal collisions involving teens were more than double the rate of all other driver fatalities combined. Collisions cause 75% of all deaths among Washington teens. And when you get a bunch of kids in a car, the music's going, um, they're joking and having a good time talking to their friends, not necessarily paying attention to the road. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, teens have a higher rate of crashes when other teens are in the car and at night. Teens are also less likely than adults to use safety belts. The intermediate law is set as a law for a reason, and that's to protect the juveniles and the safety of them while they're learning how to drive. Here are the guidelines of the law. Before being issued an intermediate license, a teen must hold an instruction permit for at least six months, get at least 50 hours of supervised driving practice, including 10 hours at night, and pass a traffic safety education course. Teen intermediate drivers may not have any traffic violations within six months of applying for the license and have no alcohol or drug offense while holding an instruction permit. And what the intermediate license does is it gives the kids and the juveniles a chance to drive to perfect their driving before they add the distractions of other kids in the car. For the first six months with the intermediate license, the teen cannot drive with passengers under the age of 20 unless they are members of their immediate family and not drive at all between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. For the second six-month period, the teen may carry up to three passengers under the age of 20 but still cannot drive between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. unless it is with a licensed driver age 25 or older or for agricultural purposes. If a driver after their first year of driving is involved in a collision or gets found to have committed a citation, then they don't graduate to the next level. After one year of driving without collisions or traffic citations, the teen is allowed to drive without limitations. At age 18, the intermediate driver license automatically becomes a regular license. I think it's important that law enforcement officers take a zero tolerance policy that when they pull over a teen driver who has passengers under the age of 20 that they're not supposed to have or who are driving between 1 and 5 a.m., that they do issue them a citation or at least a warning. Yeah. Any reason for the excessive speed today? No, we're just going out to lunch right after. Um, the officer needs to look at the license, um, question the driver to determine when they got their license and what period of the intermediate driver licensing stage they're in. It says you just got your license uh, two months ago, and it's an intermediate driver's license. Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Do you know what your restrictions are? The teen driver's license will have intermediate license printed at the top of the license. There's no, no passengers under the age of 20 for the first six months, and no driving between 1 and 5 in the morning. Can you tell me why you got passengers? Um, they need a ride. Are any of you over 20? No. Any of you, her immediate family? No. So why? 
If the officer has a computer in his vehicle, should be able to look up the driver's license number and see the restriction right there on the screen and then cross-reference that to the law enforcement pocket card. First of all, you're speeding on Rainier Road, 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. I've cited you for that. Secondly, intermediate driver's license restriction. I'm also going to cite you for that. You know that you're not supposed to have passengers under the age of 20 in your car. Okay, the school is less than a block away. You have a sidewalk and a crosswalk. And that's what you're going to have to do, okay? I chose to have uh, two young females walk back to the school. Why I did that? Well, there's a sidewalk. It's not a very congested area. We have marked crosswalks, and the school was less than a block away. My judgment call, I had them hop on the sidewalk and walk back to school. You understand what everything that happened? All right. There are situations where it might uh, take a little bit longer, say you want to call their parents, or say you want to give them a ride somewhere. But in a situation like this, where you're close to the school, you're in a safe environment, of course it's officer discretion, but uh, I'm going to have them walk back to school. So the same amount of time it took you to do a regular traffic stop is all the longer it took me to do this one. Here's a recap of the Intermediate Driver License Law. For the first six months with the Intermediate License, teens cannot drive with passengers under the age of 20 unless they are members of their immediate family and not drive at all between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. For the second six-month period, the teen may carry up to three passengers under the age of 20 but still cannot drive between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m unless it is with a licensed driver age 25 or older or if they are driving for agricultural purposes. For more information on the Intermediate Driver's License laws, go to the Department of Licensing website or call the Washington Traffic Safety Commission 360-753-6197. If it can save the lives of any kid, one kid, 50 kids, um, it doesn't matter. If you can save one life, you're doing your job. This is a great law and it needs to be enforced. I believe that we can save lives in Washington State. We're going to see less collisions, at least 15, 20 percent less collisions with the enactment of the GDL. So that's the reward.